folks, we've come up on the aqueduct. You have to be very careful along these rolls. This is agriculture area. You're going to have these trucks moving a lot. Now this one is carrying tomatoes. From the looks of it, I can guarantee it's not going to be the stuff you're probably going to be putting in salad. That looks like the ketchup type. Alright folks, we're coming up on our spot and we're going to make our turn here. Now remember, we're going off-road. Down, down, down. Be very careful when you go off-road. You've got this dip here. All right, we made a left turn. The aqueduct, we're running the same as the aqueduct is running right now. Now this road here takes us up along the canal, but what we'll do is we'll keep going forward and we're looking for another to take us up high. Now this is the second time the minister has been here. Now this is a back road that the farmers use to access their field. Okay, let's see. I do believe, folks, this is the road we were getting ready to pass this section. Now my buddy said if sometimes if this gate is locked, I can go further up, but we should be able to just take it here. All right, we're going up on the minister's favorite fishing spot. Down, 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 down. Ah, it's a little late, folks, but hey, yeah. It's nothing like a day of peace and quiet. And what I'm going to do is try to park to where if someone is coming by, but remember, you do not want to go off the edge. Okay. We're here, folks. The minister will get you set up and we'll get fishing. See, folks, this was called follow somebody who knows somebody who know where they're supposed to be fishing. So I'm following it. They tell me the stripers are here. 
Mr. Hot Rod Show's gonna hunt the bear. That honey badger decided to stay home. No, she went to go do something with the birds. This guy knows where the bass are. Yeah. Man, man. Real professional fisherman. Yep. I have to get me one of those flukes he's fishing with. Alright. The long day of fishing today. That made the day though, didn't it? Yeah, well I don't know. I throw these back. Unless oh, you this is a small, I don't know, what is that, 18? Yeah, probably 17, 18. Yeah, they have to be what? Uh, not, uh, 18. 18? It might be right, right. Yeah. Close, I'll throw it back, try to get one a little bigger. That shows you after a long day of fishing, boy. Following somebody else, look at them. Let me get back over here. Man, those strippers sure hit hard. I said to a buddy, I was going to... Uh, Fish striper bass, he like F striper bass. I'm thinking, hey, them babies fight a lot harder than them large mouth. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Are. You ever ate striped bass? You know what? Somebody told me it was good eating and uh, they're, they're, they're under their fiber. They don't have that fishy taste to them at all. Now, I'll, like, I'll eat this one here where we were fishing. I didn't want to eat it because that seemed like it was more stagnant. This here seems like it's moving through. You know, because years ago in the 70s when we used to fish out here in the canals, they started talking about the pesticides. Yeah, and, they don't allow them to do that no Well, what it was, I think it was the runoff is what it was. It's not that they were intentional. Oh, you mean they used to put it in the canal? Yeah. Oh. All right, I'm going to have to recut this here. All right, folks, this is Minister Hot Rod Shoulder. Now, this is my weekly fishing show. Today is October 18, 2014. Where am I at? What you ask me for? All I know is that this body of water here is referred to as the Delta Mendota Canal. Um, the gentleman who guided me here, his name is Jimmy. I found out his name uh, after several trips because we left this location it went further up this canal, but nothing was biting, and I decided to come back here. They are biting. Um, I caught a lot of small ones, and I was too embarrassed to put them on camera. I didn't want to have to hear honey bear's mouth. I did catch a striper bass earlier, still using this Roland Martin Shad uh, color lure, and also I was using this Procure Thin Shad um, bait sauce and I am applying it here at the bottom. So the minister is going to go ahead and give this uh, location another chance. Uh, the reason I am wearing my life vest is, one, it's nice and convenient, it's not like the bulky form, but I'm going to show you the body of water that I'm fishing in. If you look at this water here, if you end up in that canal and you're by yourself, you're good as dead. At least my life vest would give me a fighting chance. Even though I'm a good swimmer, and at, when I was in high school I was a lifeguard, that does not mean anything if you hit that body of water. So at least my uh, life vest would give me a fighting chance since I'm out here fishing by myself. And the famous honey badger decided to go chase birds today. Yeah, I think she's getting a little soft, you know. But the minister, Hot Rod Show, is going to give you a fishing show. Don't worry, folks. Before I leave, I'm going to leave with that 20-pound striper bag. All right, this is the Minister Hot Rod Show. Let me get back to fishing and let you take a look at that swirls of the water there. Thank you.
All right, it's Minister Hot Rod Shuller. How about a lot of these little ones out here? Striper bass hitting. I'm actually pulling them through a lot of shad. And these are some big size shad. Some of the shad that are swimming down are half the size of that striper bass. All right, let's send him back. You know, I practice catch and release. You know, I don't want to show that to Honey Badger. She'd really be upset. She'd think I'm out here catching bait. All right, let me get back to fishing. All right, this is Minister Anthony Williams, Hot Rod Shoulders. It's time to pull out. And we're starting.